Okay, hey guys, today I have a quick haul for you, and um, I it's All, call Cosme All Cosmetic Wholesale, which if you haven't heard of it, it's a website, and you get stuff, you can order like old stuff from it, or new stuff, just for discount prices, and they have a few drugstore brands as well, stuff like MAC, um, Stila, Too Faced, Urban Decay, stuff like that. Um, they have a very wide range of products, so I'd really recommend checking it out. Um, some of the stuff's not so discounted, like the MAC stuff on there, you can, are really not discounted, but some of the brands like Too Faced and Seal and stuff are very discounted, so I like it for that purpose. Um, there's not much in this haul, but it is, it was a fairly pricey purchase, um, but that's just because I got some stuff that was a little pricier. Uh, I did also buy some quite a bit of drugstore stuff this month. That was all in my favorites video that I just filmed because like all the stuff I bought at the drugstore this month became a favorite and I didn't want to include it in that and then this. And also these things aren't favorites because they didn't come till July 31st so they're not exactly July favorites. Maybe August. But so I figured I'd just make this an exclusively all cosmetic wholesale um, haul. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I got was, well this is actually two different things because you had to buy the packaging separate from the product which is really lame and it got pricey but it's much cheaper than if you had bought it actually from Stila which that's why who it's by, Stila. And this is their, well th this thing's their um, powder compact and then the inside I have the um, illuminating powder foundation and yeah I could have bought a drugstore powder foundation that would have probably been pretty similar. I just decided to go ahead and splurge while I was on All Cosmetic Wholesale because you know I love myself some Stila and I love this. Um, I've tried it once. I'm wearing it today and I think it does a good job. I mean I'm not only wearing this but I think it's a good thing. I wish you could buy, you bought the powder it came with the compact but I guess in future if I want to buy it again I won't have to buy the compact so it is what it is. I do wish it was a little cheaper. And then I got a brush that I used with it today this is the Too Faced Teddy Bear Flat Kabuki. It's so cute, guys. I thought it was a regular Kabuki, so I am a little disappointed because it didn't really say on the website that it was Flat Kabuki, which is fun, but it's not exactly great for powder. It might be good for contour. But anyway, I did use it today, and I think it worked well. Um, it was discounted. I don't remember the exact prices of these things. I'll probably include them on my blog post, which I'll link below. Um, which, by the way, the blog post will also have swatches and pictures of the box when I got it because I did open this yesterday. So I don't no longer have the boxes and all that. But, yeah, this is was pretty cheap. Normally, this would be ridiculously priced, as all higher-end brushes are. Okay, next we have, um, that's all for face products. I don't usually buy a lot of face products because they tend to be pricier. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is full size. I finished my Urban Decay one. And um, I thought I'd give Too Faced a go because it was it was still pretty pricey, but I think it was a couple of dollars off from the regular price and definitely cheaper than Urban Decay. So I decided to go ahead and get it because I kind of wanted a new primer. All right, and that's the only thing I got as far as primer. And then I got um, four different Too Faced eyeshadows. As you can tell, I was kind of on a Too Faced kick on this haul. Um, first thing I'll show you is the singles I got. I got two of them one of whom's name I'm not going to say. It's this. If you can't see that, it's kind of like a label horse, but not horse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you can look it up online if you want to see. I don't feel like saying it, but it's kind of a dupe for Mac Club or um, the one that they discontinued, Urban Decay Lounge, which I've been planning on getting, but they discontinued. So this is nice. I've never tried Too Faced eyeshadows before, but so far from playing around with them yesterday, I, they seem to be quite nice. This one's Sitcom Siren, which I thought would be kind of like um, Max Satin Taupe. It's a little silverier. It doesn't come off that way in the pan, but when you wear it, it's pretty silver. But it's got a slightly plummy tone, and I really am excited about this one. I think I'm going to love it. And the other two things I got are duos. The first one I think I'm going to be loving it's going to be very useful because it's a matte brown, but not a dark brown, like a mid-tone brown, and a matte white. So this is something that can go with anything just to do crease work or highlighting. So, And that is Teddy Bear in Heaven, if I didn't say. And then this one is Erotica and Silk Teddy, and these seem to be kind of Urban Decay dupes. I don't know if I realized that when I bought it or else I probably wouldn't because I do have these colors. And that's Sin and Dark Horse dupes, I believe. And that, by the way, is Silk Teddy and Erotica is that one. 
and um all of the colors i got in duo form i think are available in one of their little box palettes i think it's the natural one or maybe the naked i think it's natural though and so probably the better value to go ahead and get that rather than the, the just these duos but they were again on sale so whatever last thing i got for eye product was an urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in rockstar and I heard this was kind of a dupe for the Revlon Blackberry, which that one's not super creamy, so I wanted to try this to get a creamy version. And I tried it yesterday, and I really like it, so we'll see. It's kind of a purpley, but it's got some brown tones, so it's not just straight up purple. So I'm excited about that one. Now on to lips. I got a Coors Lip Butter in Guava. tried this at my grandma's house because she had it, and I really liked it, so I figured why not get it on a discount. I was going to get a bunch of Coors stuff, actually, like other lip products as well as a few face products but I ended up not because I'm the kind of person who gets all the stuff in my shopping bag and I'm so excited and then it's like $400 and I'm like oh so I have to cut out like hundreds of dollars so I just got one and I'm really liking it I used it last night and my eye is twitching by the way I'm not wearing any of this stuff today except for the powder because I did just do a haul or a favorites video so I'm wearing that look in case you were wondering Next, I got some Revlon lipsticks, and these were on sale for $5 on there, so pretty good deal. I got three. This first one, I'm already not thinking, was a good pick because I don't think it's really a very good color on me. It's kind of a nude with a frost to it, which is never a good look on me, but it's the Apricot Fantasy, and this is, they're all super lustrous. This one's a pearl. The next one I got is a matte, and I'm really excited about this one. I tried it on yesterday, and it's beautiful. I've heard a lot about this one, actually, and they discontinued it, I believe. This is a matte one in strawberry suede. It's kind of a corally color, and I think I'm going to love that for the end of summer. This last one is a cream, which is what my other Revlon lipstick that I lost was, and I really love that one. Um, so I thought I'd pick up another cream. This is pink in the afternoon, and it's a really pretty basic pink to have. And that is all, guys. That is all I got at All Cosmetic Wholesale. Hey, guys. I just had a little add-on to the haul. This is a couple days later. And this one's not for All Cosmetic Wholesale, but I wanted to share it because this also was a great, great discount. And another little tip on shopping, other than All Cosmetic Wholesale, if you don't want to go online or you can't, somewhere you can go is Nordstrom Rack. It's If you haven't heard of it, it's the outlet style shop by Nordstrom and they have clothes, shoes, and as well a few little makeup items at the front cash registers. And I've never really seen anything there. I mean, that's actually where I got my little shadow sticks, but I haven't seen a whole lot there that's ever really appealed to me. But I did find a palette by Urban Decay for $12, which is better than all cosmetic wholesale, or even the Urban Decay website by like a dollar or so, because they did have this palette on sale there. And this one is the vegan palette. They also had primer potions for like eight bucks if that's something you're interested in. They didn't have the original though where I was. But anyway, so this palette comes with um, the colors of eyeshadow plus an Urban Decay primer potion in Sin, which I'm used in this look I used today and I'm already obsessing. It's amazing. It also comes with zero pencil, which I already had a zero pencil, but this is a larger size and I use it all the time in looks, so I'm glad to have another. And then it comes with six eyeshadows, uh, three of which are naked colors. We've got two colors here called Minx and Herb, Gunmetal, which is from Naked One, Smog, or sorry, yeah, Twice Baked, which is not from a naked palette. Small, which is, I believe, from Naked One, correct me if I'm wrong, and then Half Baked, which is a color in Naked One that people use on in tutorials all the time, so I was so excited to get my hands on that. And for $12 especially, that was a great deal. So I wanted to throw this in here just to let you guys know this is another great way to get great deals on price products like Urban Decay. They also have sometimes Stila, Too Faced, um... I believe those are the main ones, as well as some OPI nail polish. So if you have a Nordstrom rack near you, I highly recommend going and checking out. Even if you don't want to get clothes or shoes, just go to the front and see if they have any makeup. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this haul, both the All Cosmetic Also part and this part. And be sure to check out my blog. I will have swatches of this palette along with everything else. So see you guys around. Bye!